Hi and welcome to How to Use CAD. For today's tutorial we're going to look at a project that is aimed primarily at adding value to an existing property. These are projects where the client wishes to get planning approval for an extension so that the property can be sold with planning which generally adds more value. Take a look and see what we got up to. The brief on this particular project was pretty straightforward. We had a younger client who owned uh, the basement flat and uh, what he was looking to do was to add value and by that um, he, he, he saw that there was potential to extend the back and um, in doing so would be able to create another bedroom. So if we just look at the existing layouts here this is basically what it was and you had a lounge at the front a little bathroom lots of hallway too much hallway a bit of a kitchen at the back and a bedroom so we ended up with a one bedroom that's that's what we had and as you went down the stairs to the entrance because you come in the front uh, side entrance in the in the side down the steps gate here and then that's the entrance to the flat but to go to the garden you just pop out down here and this is a raised area here and uh, again it's a pretty decent enough garden because this is a Kensington property so uh, some of the properties here the terrace properties to, they were never built with large gardens um, this particular one's not huge but it's it's okay so especially having in the basement flat here means that you actually had all of the garden whilst upstairs they had little or nothing um, okay they uh, the <clears throat> so the aim was to um, add on an extra bedroom so let, 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 let's see what we ended up doing here so we ended up one bedroom two bedrooms light well okay so I think what might help us a little bit better to explain here is to put one next to the other in other words an existing and a proposed and to give you an idea of how we change the space. Um, right, so <clears throat> didn't change much at the front. Uh, let me just get this right, ground floor flat, lower ground floor flat, yeah. So layout remained the same uh, towards the front, but uh, this was going in the side gate before remember so what we did was we pushed out to the side and we made this the boundary wall so now we've added all this space here to the to the build and clearly uh, you can see where the wall the dotted wall represents uh, the wall the wall removed but by removing it means we had a the entrance became here this became the entrance and as you go in you had a, a generous hallway for an apartment and you had storage as in a couple of wardrobes etc so we rounded off the corner here to make it an easier flowing um, walk down the passageway in here you've got a utility room and you've got a dome uh, skylight which is basically here this is a single story extension so the dome would have been there and then you carry on down you've got a kitchen you've got a breakfast bar and which leads on to a dining area uh, and a, a little bit of a lounge so the lounge isn't huge on here but it's you know for a london apartment which people aren't in most of the time uh, it's uh, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty okay it's a reasonable kitchen come dining living area and you know how it is some people won't have the dining they'll just eat mostly from the breakfast bar which means this all becomes recreation and a lounge so space wise it's more than adequate now add to that the uh, four or five meters of uh, bifold doors straight out onto your patio with raised borders and uh, you've got yourself a fabulous two bedroom flat on the ground floor now it was it was interesting that when uh, this went in for planning um, I, I got a few calls on it from different people that had seen the planning application and uh, and they, what they were asking was is whether we would be able to project manage this uh, because 
we designed it, so they asked, they wanted to know if we would project manage uh, the build uh, when, when it actually came to happen, and of course we said yes. And um, that is scheduled to happen, I think, in about four months' time. Because plan we got the planning for it, but it was, a, it, was, uh, it was hit and miss. We had to do quite a bit of negotiating on this one, simply because uh, the, <coughs> the properties above had to be given something. The flats above had to be given something. And I'll show you what the, the owner on the basement flat did to uh, secure uh, agreement from the upper floors uh, plus uh, and what they what it what they did was they agreed to on this is the ground floor extension here and what they agreed that this is the extension area and what what was agreed was uh, we would do a roof terrace uh, for the first floor flat or the actual flat above and then that was a roof terrace uh, they did have a little tiny roof terrace before um, I think let me just check on that on the existing yes they did they had a little roof terrace here on top of the old bathroom there so that was demolished uh, or was it kept it was kept and what, what this is all new in fact so a pair of French doors were popped in and a roof terrace was offered up and they were pretty happy with that because it uh, made a significant gain to the, the flat above. And then as you go one flat again, uh, which this flat is, oh, uh, this was two floors, this particular flat, they too got a bit of roof terrace on top of, uh, uh, again, on top of the, uh, the bathroom. So uh, everyone was getting something from it. So all the uh, leaseholders within the building were, were happy bunnies because they were all adding tremendous value to each floor because this young man in the basement had the uh, courage to put together a project of this nature which was excellent so he turned these one bedroom flat into a two bedroom flat by pushing out the side uh, pushing out the back and then of course he didn't build anything so what he did was they he then put it up for sale and of course uh, by putting it up for sale with planning for an extra etc etc he got a significant lift in uh, the value and uh, as such uh, would have made a substantial sum of money he, what's also uh, important to remember that this is kensington this is a you know a conservation area so it's it's hard work getting any uh, plans through for uh, any kind of build uh, but yeah, so the idea, this is the front by the way, and this is the existing back and this was the existing front. Uh, so the front didn't change, uh, but the back changed like such. This was your extension at the back and at the side. This was the roof terrace for the floor above and then the roof terrace again for the floor above. So what I'm trying to say is that the... The idea of, um, you say you have an apartment or something and uh, you may not have the money to 50,000 or 100,000 to add on an extension, but you don't really have to, but you may well be able to um, invest a few thousand pounds, get planning on uh, for extending and refurbishing and changing the layout into something better and then put your apartment up for sale. And you see the difference that uh, you can uh, that people will pay because they'll pay for knowing that they can uh, turn that apartment. Everyone wants to remodel, so uh, they want to put their own mark on the property. So they're more than happy to pay uh, the extra money for an apartment that they know already that they can extend. They've got planning for it, and they can put their own stamp on it. So it's a great way of uh, making money if you. It's a great way of adding value. Uh, if you don't have the money to do an extension yourself or to do a significant refurb to add value. Just add value by uh, getting the planning application through. And that's what this young man did and uh, got paid handsomely for it. So I'm really, I'm really chuffed. Uh, I'm really chuffed for him. So again, uh, this, is, this lesson is I'm not showing you how to use uh, CAD tools today, but I'm I'm not directly, but indirectly. If you're a des young designer, 
you should be able to uh, you know once you've started doing projects and you get you get involved you start to use the CAD tools to learn how to uh, extend properties how to convert them how to change them into uh, something more attractive and more lucrative and more value so uh, that, that's that's a key skill to acquire so you look at something and you think how can I change that uh, in, and how can I add value to that property using my CAD skills so yeah please learn how to use your tools learn how to use your CAD skills because when it comes to doing a planning application <clears throat> the only cost uh, for you to chance your arm or to chance your look on anything then is to uh, uh, spend uh, two or three hundred pound on your planning application because you're using your own skills uh, your own CAD skills to make some serious money. So this is what this is what the lesson is aimed at, showing you how to use your CAD skills to add value. And before you buy a property, if you're looking at a property to buy, because um, you, you can do this of course for your clients, but if you're looking at a property to buy for yourself, uh, don't just buy any property. Buy a property where you can see uh, that there is room for expansion or there is room for substantial improvement and if you want, you put an uh, agree with the uh, the people that are selling the property. That ask them for permission to put a planning application in first. And some people are doing that. They're putting in a planning application on a property that they don't own. Uh, they get permission from the owners, and then if the uh, if you get planning for it, then you complete on your purchase. And as soon as you've as soon as you've got your property, you can call the builders in because everything is ready to go, and it's an instant uh, money maker. Uh, so really, what the aim the like someone put said it to me about thirty years ago. He said. Uh, the best way to make money is to see what isn't there. So in other words, if you look at a property, you've got to be able to look at it from that viewpoint, which is to see what isn't there. And that's where the money is, where the money is. That's where the profit. Uh, so right, that's it. So today is all about property development. It's all about teaching you how to use your CAD skills uh, to make some serious money. And you don't have to own property and you don't even have to buy a property uh, but if you do own a property and um, don't just sell it sell it with planning that's uh, that's my view all right hopefully uh, today's lesson uh, adds value uh, uh, i guess I'll see you in the next lesson i'll see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching